or I'm here at Chito August, Mayana Smith after winning the D2 100 hurdles. I mean, you're a state champion. Just what are your thoughts about that? Um, obviously, it hasn't processed yet. It took a lot to get here. And it's very hard, but I worked to get here. So I'm proud of myself. Thank you. And no, uh, as for the race, it was a very close race. Uh, how would you kind of reflect on it? And what were you thinking, you know, throughout the entire race as you, you know, made your way to the finish line? Um, Beginning of the race, I was kind of nervous. Once I got towards the middle, it got better. Then it got towards the end, it got rocky again because they got in front of me, so I got scared. But then, in the end, it paid off. So. And now, when you crossed the line, what was that realization of like, oh, I'm a state champion? Yeah, like I didn't realize until I still don't realize now. Like it's not, it's not gonna hit till I get home. But yeah, I feel good. Though. Now, what was the journey like for you in your high school and track career to get to this point? It was very hard. Like, I had to, a lot of ups and downs with hurdles and other events like the four right wing yesterday that took a toll on us because we came in for first and we left with third, but uh, it's fine because I came back and got my revenge today. Now, how did you meet, how did you, you know, kind of discover the, the hurdles of that? How did you kind of get into this? I just seen a lot of TikTokers and Instagram. <laughs> like, and I was just like, that looks kind of cool. So I just got into hurdles and I was actually good at it. Oh my, and you've been doing the event? Two seasons. Last year. Two seasons. Last year, outdoor. No, three. This year, outdoor. Last year, outdoor and indoor. So for you, I mean, you're kind of new to the event. And then you won the state championship. Event. What, how, how, I guess, how do you feel about that knowing that you learned it so quickly and you can be one of the best in the state? Um, it's like, I don't know, for Like, I just feel like I know I could be better. I know I'm going to be better. So it's just, I have a mindset that's just like, I'm working my way up. You know? So right now it's just like, hey, I'm here and I did it. So happy about that. I like that. And now for you, what, is it, what does it mean to you personally, your family, the program, the school? For you to pull this off, I definitely bring it home with me. <laughs> I definitely did. They was calling on me, and I showed them what I could do. And how long have you been in track and field in general? Only this is my sophomore year. Only I started freshman year. Ago. Oh no! But when did you start, like in general, playing? Uh, you know, doing the sport. Doing the sport. Yeah. Last year, November. Oh wow! So you've literally only done track and field for two years. Yeah. Wow. I mean, say again. That's kind of crazy. State champion. I mean. When you hear, you know, every, every time someone sees you on the track, they have to call you state champion, even though you're only a sophomore. How crazy is that knowing, especially you have two more years left? Yeah, it's like overwhelming sometimes because I just like, it just doesn't hit. <laughs> and I just sit, like a lot of people say, congratulations, you did very good. And after a while, it just starts to sink in. I'm just like, man, I actually did that. I like that.